We got the Bills taking on the Cincinnati Bengals Sunday night football. This is the game of the week. The last time we saw these two teams play, the Cincinnati Bengals dominated the Buffalo Bills in the division around 27 to 10 in last year's playoffs. The Bengals, the reason why they were able to dominate the Bills was because they were the better, more balanced team in their last outing. All right. They were able not to just have success throwing the football, but Joe Mixon had a big day on the ground and the defense played excellent. Meanwhile, Buffalo, they were too overly relying on Josh Allen. He didn't have a great game. He had the turnovers that kind of were costly and they couldn't run the football at all. And the defense didn't show up to play in that game. This year, though, Buffalo's defense has been arguably top three, top five in the game. And they have a really good pass rush. This is one of the most underrated defensive lines in all of the entire National Football League. Like, nobody talks about how good the Bills' defensive line has been this season. And when you look at the Cincinnati Bengals coming into this game, this is an offensive line that still isn't playing up to the level of talent that they have on that unit. When Cincinnati signed Orlando Brown in free agency at left tackle, many people felt like, that was finally the missing piece to solving the Bengals' long-term problems on the offensive line. But this offensive line still hasn't played all that good. Now, last week, you know, they looked really good. They had a big win. Well, the last time I watched the Bengals play, they beat the Seattle Seahawks, right? And they currently are riding on a three-game winning streak. And ever since Joe Burrow came back fully healthy, he's looked like an entirely different quarterback from the quarterback that we saw the first couple of weeks this season. And when they beat San Francisco last week, I mean, this dude was looking like kind of like the white version of Lamar Jackson. I did not know Joe Burrow had this kind of mobility. He was breaking out of sacks from Nick Bosa and Arik Armstead. He just was looking like a man possessed. He completed his first 19 passes against San Francisco. The Buffalo Bills defense, they struggled to have success slowing down this passing attack. And if Joe Burrow comes into this game and he picks up from where he left off against the 49ers, it's going to be really disappointing if you're Sean McDermott. Because the big problem with Sean McDermott and the Buffalo Bills being unable to get over the hump in the postseason is that this defense never shows up in the playoffs anytime they lose. And if you can't slow down this Bengals offense, an offense that has struggled for pretty much the majority of this season, last week was their best performance offensively all year long against a really good 49ers defense. The Bills, yes, they do have some injuries that they're dealing with in the secondary and on, you know, the front seven, but that's no excuse. You know, like everybody's dealing with injuries. Nobody's fully healthy around the midway point of the NFL season. Either teams are missing star players or star players are playing through pretty nagging injuries. And if the Buffalo Bills defense gets carved up by Joe Burrow once again, I think that people are going to have the pitchforks ready for Sean McDermott. And I'm looking at this game as a playoff game in a sense, even though it's in the regular season. The reason why is because there's a lot at stake. Buffalo right now is behind the Miami Dolphins in the AFC East. They'll drop the 5-4 and four and they'll even be further back in contention to have the number one seed. Meanwhile, Cincinnati, you know, they need to win this game because they still are trying to stay afloat in the AFC North. And with the loss here, the Ravens could potentially run away with this thing. And the Browns still are in the thick of things. Cincinnati needs to win this game and... The Buffalo Bills they need to win this game also, which is why, to me, this is a playoff kind of game, all right? And you don't really get these this often in the midway point of the season, but this is going to have a playoff feel to it. And it always feels that way anytime you have two of the NFL's best quarterbacks squaring off. And it's fair to say that Joe Burrow has gotten the better of Josh Allen, especially when you look at how the last game went. You see... Buffalo this year, they've been really good at being able to stay balanced. All right, James Cook has been really good on the ground. This offensive line has been slightly improved. It's all really going to come down to if Josh Allen can take care of the football because his recklessness is what gets the Buffalo Bills in trouble. And it's odd because 
He plays really good from behind, but anytime the Bills get a lead, he just throws it away. It's so weird to me. Normally, you see quarterbacks who play bad from behind, or you see quarterbacks that play bad coming from behind, but they play great with a lead. And the reason why it's been that way is because Buffalo has been unable to have success running the football. You should be able to have success running the football on this Cincinnati front. James Cook, he's really good getting the ball in the open field. He's very fast. He also has very good hands catching out of the backfield. I think that he's the big X factor for Buffalo in this game. You got Stephon Diggs and Gabe Davis, who've had some really good performances this year. You also got a rookie tight end in Darlene Kincaid, who is coming off a really big time performance last week. And let's not forget that the Buffalo Bills, even though they do have some head-scratching losses, like when they lost to the New England Patriots a couple of weeks ago, they still got some really big wins. Like, they destroyed the Miami Dolphins. They put nearly 50 points on the Miami Dolphins, and the Miami Dolphins are a really good team. The Buffalo Bills, they've shown the ability to get up for big games. It's just that any time they're able to go up against a team like the Cincinnati Bengals that can play truly complimentary style football, they don't really do a good job at trying to play complimentary football in their own right. And if they can't run the football in this game and they have to overly rely on Josh Allen, not just to carry them with his arm, but with his legs also, they're going to get in the same situation that they were in the divisional round when they lost this game, 27 to 10. You got to be able to take some of the load off of Josh Allen. Joe Burrow, even with how great he is, Cincinnati has Joe Mixon. And Joe Mixon had a really good performance against the San Francisco 49ers. There were some Bills players that say that they felt like they lost that playoff game to Cincinnati because of the snow. Well, it's time to prove it. You know, you're going on the road, hostile environment. You're a two-point underdog, which this game pretty much is a pick em at this point. Prime time. You got the opportunity to prove that last year's loss was a fluke, and you got the opportunity to show that you're still one of the best teams in the NFL because I believe that both of these two teams are kind of being overlooked in the Super Bowl conversation. Everybody still has their eyes on the Baltimore Ravens and the Kansas City Chiefs and the Jacksonville Jaguars, but with whoever wins this game, you definitely put yourself right back into the mix. And the loser of this game, you know, things look a little bit more bleaker for you. Now, whoever loses this game is still most likely going to make it to the playoffs. Not saying that, but I think that this is a big game in determining who is actually able to be a legitimate contender in the AFC this year. The Bengals, they could be 5-3 and three and find themselves right back into the thick of things. Meanwhile, if they lose, you know, they potentially still could be in last place in the AFC North, even with the Browns not having Deshaun Watson fully healthy. Buffalo, on the other hand, 6-3 and three puts you right back into that conversation to have the number one seed. But if you drop the 5-4, and four, I think it'll be a major letdown at this point because then things get a little bit tougher for you. And I think a big reason why Buffalo has struggled in the postseason is because unlike Mahomes, they aren't able to get that number one seed. If you can get that number one seed this year, that would make things a lot easier for you in terms of you being able to make a deep run in the playoffs. This is a playoff game, similar to that Dallas Cowboys and Philadelphia Eagles matchup that we just talked about. You know, there are big implications in this game. And I think that we're going to find truly what these teams are with whoever is able to come up on the winning end of things. And if Buffalo can't beat Joe Burrow and company again, what does that say about Sean McDermott? What does that say about Josh Allen, the fact that you got a super talented team, but you just can't find a way to get it done against a team that has been the two consecutive AFC championships? And it's going to make me ask the question, what's the difference between why the Cincinnati Bengals are so much more successful than what the Buffalo Bills are when they kind of have Similar teams. Buffalo's roster is just as good as the Cincinnati Bengals. Even if the Bengals may have a better offensive line talent-wise, they haven't played like it all the time. And the Bengals right now are a team that's starting to get really hot. And this is normally the time of the year where the Bengals start to peak and play their best football. And if you're the Buffalo Bills, you can't beat Cincinnati. It becomes a little bit tougher 
for me to view you as a team that can make it out of the AFC. Regardless of how I feel about you, you know, if you can't get it done in a regular season against Cincinnati and, you know, we still think about what happened to you in the playoffs last year, what makes us think that the results are going to be any different? And it makes me start looking at Sean McDermott. If this defense gets carved up by Joe Burrow and company once again, I'm going to be looking at him and saying, dude, you're supposed to be a defensive-minded coach. Why are you struggling to slow down Joe Burrow? We get that Joe Burrow is one of the best quarterbacks in the league. But if you're a defensive-minded coach and your defense is the reason why you're coming up short in the playoffs, then something has to give. I think that this is a really big test for both of these two teams in determining just where these teams rank in the Super Bowl conversation. I think the winner of this game, you definitely feel way more confident about their chances being able to make it out of the AFC versus the team that loses because the team that loses, they're going to kind of be a little bit behind in the race for number one in the AFC when it comes to playoff seeding, especially the Bengals, because they're in a dogfight right now. The Browns are good. The Ravens are good. The Steelers are good. I mean, every game for Cincinnati is a must win. Buffalo has a little bit more leeway because the Jets, they're kind of a middling team right now. They're not really that great offensively. They're just getting carried by their defense. Zach Wilson is just good enough to keep them in positions to win. But ultimately, with the way that the AFC East has turned out, Buffalo, regardless if you lose this game, you may not be viewed in the Super Bowl conversation. But if Cincinnati loses, they may not make it to the postseason because there may not be a spot for all four teams in the AFC North to get into the playoffs. And even though they are on a three-game win streak, I mean, the AFC North, everybody's neck and neck. And right now, they're battling to try to get out of last place in this division over the Cleveland Browns. So this is a really big game for both of these teams. But if you ask me which team needs to win this game a little bit more, I got to go with the Cincinnati Bengals. And I'm taking the Bengals to get the win. I just think that the Bengals just have the Buffalo Bills number. I think that for some reason, Sean McDermott, his defense just doesn't have any answers for Joe Burrow. And looking at the way Joe Burrow played last week against San Francisco and the way Jamar Chase has played and the fact that Buffalo's banked up defensively, I think that this Bengals offense continues to pick up from where they left off against the 49ers and they ultimately are the reason why they win this game. Although I do think that this defense isn't going to play all that great. I do think that the Bills offense is going to have a way better performance in this game than what they did the last time they went up against this Bengals defense. But I'm ultimately am going with the Bengals to win 31-27 being the final score.